Bible tonight. I'll read the Bible. Pre Tonight's theme will be on UFOs since the mainstream media has been uh, pushing that agenda. And I've been watching videos to use this sermon. I've done my research and you already know what UFOs are. And I can't explain that so you can just check out the links below. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I'll go to the topic on UFOs. Ezekiel, actually we're going to read uh, Zechariah chapter 5. Do you know there there are UFOs in the Bible? Check it out. Anyways, it's one of many Bible verses on UFOs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. All right, I'll read from the book of Zechariah, chapter 5, in the Old Testament. One of, actually, I think it's major or minor prophets. Praise the Lord. Flying scroll and basket, a UFO. Once again, I lifted up my eyes, and behold, I saw a flying scroll, a UFO. Then the angel asked me, What do you see? I replied, I see a flying scroll 20 cubits long and 10 cubits wide. He said to me, This is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole land. Everyone who steals will be swept away from here according to it, and everyone who swears will be quept, swept away from here according to it. I will send it out. It is a declaration of Adonai to Zavat. And it will enter into the house of the thief and into the house of the one who swears falsely to my name and will reside inside the house, destroying it, both its woods and its stones. Then the angel speaking with me came forward and said to me, Now, lift up your eyes and see what is appearing. I asked, What is it? He replied, This is the measuring basket that goes out. He continued, This is their eye in all the land. Then behold, a land cover was lifted, and a woman was sitting in the middle of the measuring basket. The angel exclaimed, This is wickedness. Then he shoved her back inside the measuring basket, throwing the lead, lead weight over its mouth. After this, I lifted up my eyes, and behold, I saw two women emerging with the wind in their wings. They had wings like the wings of a stork. And they raised the measuring basket between the earth and the heaven. I asked the angel who was speaking with me, Where are they taking the measuring basket? He said, To build a temple for her in the land of Shinar. When it is prepared, she will live there in her own place. All right, I can't tell you the whole context of this because I just zapped out to Zechariah chapter 5. But um, feel free to check it out, research out it. And it's one of many Bible verses on UFOs. Lord, protect us from the deception and stuff that the mainstream media always produces out there. Pray that you give us discernment, eyes to see what you're trying to show to us, Lord. We pray that you quench the plans of the enemy, which Satan's behind it and demons and devils or whatever. But we pray, Father God, that you give us discernment, Lord, in these times. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray for the people in Alaska where they had a UFO shutdown. Pray for the people in, um, uh, let's see, what else? China with a weather balloon, research project blue beam, um, Area 51, Roswell, and there's also Michigan, Montana, Yukon, Canada, North Carolina, and uh, Lake Huron, Michigan. I said that already. All right. And Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.